Hello and welcome to this beginner's Photoshop tutorial, where we will remove the background of any image. We will explore three different ways to remove an image background, starting with the easiest and quickest, and ending with the longest, which, although is more time consuming, it is the method that achieves the best results. Hi, I'm Esan. I will be guiding you through this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, and I will do my best to answer all your questions. And if you find this tutorial useful, and want to see more, please like, and subscribe, to help the channel grow, so we can bring you, more amazing tutorials. Ok, let's get started. Method number 1. Simple one color background. To remove a one color background, first, make sure the image layer is unlocked, by double clicking the layer. Next, select the magic wand tool from the toolbar and click the background to select it. Press the delete key on your keyboard and this will remove the background. Press Ctrl or Command plus D and this will deselect the selection. Now, you can export the image as PNG so you can overlay it or add it to another image. Method number 2. Subject Selection. If you click and hold the magic wand tool, you will see all the available tools. This time, we will use the quick selection tool to select the subject from the image and remove the background. Click the quick selection tool. Click Select Subject in the Tool Options bar. And depending on how complex your image is, Photoshop usually takes a few seconds to analyze the image and does a pretty good job selecting the subject. You can click to add areas or hold the Alt or Option key to subtract from the selection. You will notice a minus sign as you hold Alt or Option. With this example, I will just zoom in on the bottom right corner. Hold the Alt or Option key and click to subtract this little part. To keep this tutorial short, I will not obsess over getting the cutout perfect. Depending on whether this is for personal use or a client, you can spend as little or as long as you want working on the image. Press Ctrl or Command plus zero to zoom back out. Once the subject is selected, I will click the select menu and choose inverse. This will select everything else in the image instead of the subject. Press delete on your keyboard and the background will be removed, leaving the subject with a transparent background. Press Ctrl or Command plus D to deselect the selection. As in the previous method, you can export the image as PNG, so you can overlay it or add it to another image. Method number three, using the pen tool. This is the best method to remove the background of an image, which works by creating a path around the subject through creating points using the pen tool. If you need more help using the pen tool, I will be creating a dedicated tutorial to explain in more details how to use the pen tool. To use the pen tool, we can click to create points and click and drag to create curves. And by combining straight lines with curves, we can create complex shapes that can create a path around any subject, so we can cut it out from any image. More advanced techniques are required for objects like hair, where the background comes through only some parts of the hair. But in this tutorial, we will focus on simple subjects. Using the control and alt keys on Windows, or the command and option keys on Mac, we can manipulate the curves to create a perfect path. Remember to press Ctrl or Command to control any anchor point that has already been created, and Alt or Option to change the direction of the path. This may seem very difficult at first, but it will only take a little practice to become familiar with creating perfect paths. It is important to create the path slightly inside the subject so we don't include any parts that we don't need. And it is comforting to know that you can go back to your path and change anything many times over, so you can continue to change your path until it is perfect. Once you finish the path, 
you will reach the first anchor point, and as you hover over it, you will see a circular shape, indicating that the circuit is about to be completed. Click to complete the circuit. Right-click inside the path and choose Make a Selection. To get a smoother edge, you can feather the radius by half a pixel. Next, click the layer mask icon, and this will cut out the selection from the image. One thing else I should mention, that creating fewer anchor points saves time and gives a smoother path. Obviously, this comes with practice. Export your selection as a PNG image, and you can import it into any background. I will now create solid color backgrounds for the examples I've used in this tutorial. And also, overlay the PNG files I saved over different background images. Just to give you an idea of what you can do. If you've enjoyed watching this quick tutorial to remove a background of an image in Photoshop, please consider subscribing to help this channel grow so we can bring you more amazing tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to see you in another tutorial.